Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Q&A. My name is Sarah Archer. I am the host of this YouTube show. And today I've got joining me Danny Day. Danny is a manager of functional consulting here at RF Smart, and he brings to us today years of experience. So we're going to go ahead and just dive into our topic. We're talking about bin sequencing, sometimes called pick sequencing or location sequencing. Danny, what is bin sequencing? Yeah, Sarah. Uh, okay, so bin sequencing, it, it gives our customers 100% control over how the, the travel path that they want their users to travel uh, when picking orders in their operation. Uh, it will dictate uh, the manner in which the user is, 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 is traveling through the building. Um, it is configurable, so uh, they don't have to um, uh, rework all the sequencing every time they want to make a change in the warehouse. Uh, so it's, it's, it's introducing a lot of flexibility to our customers. So, Danny, it sounds like bin sequencing allows you to have flexibility in your operations. What are some other reasons that we recommend using bin sequencing? Wow. Well, I, Sarah, I would use bin sequencing. We recommend that if you um, are have acquired RF Smart and you already have uh, your warehouse bin labeling in place, right? Uh, what bin sequencing is going to allow you to do is to leverage your infrastructure that's already built. Uh, you won't have to relabel your warehouse. Uh, you'll simply just assign a numeric value to all the bins uh, in your building. And that will uh, dictate the travel path that your user uh, will be will follow, and will be directed by the the WMS to um, to travel through their building. Danny, I know that it's common in warehouses to use alphanumeric sequencing or alphanumeric sorting to accomplish this pick path. What are some advantages of using bin sequencing over alphanumeric sorting? Well, Sarah, the benefit of bin sequencing uh, versus alphanumeric sorting is um, the most efficient travel path for a user would be to make one pass down an aisle and then turn and come back up the, the aisle that's adjacent to it. That is, that is what's called serpentine picking uh, in the warehousing industry. Um, that serpentine picking it dates back to, you know, to the ages, right? I don't think uh, it will ever migrate away from the fact that, that serpentine is a very best practice of picking. Historically, prior to WMS systems and, 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 and uh, systems that could help you drive your users, um, alphanumeric labeling is how you had to label your building, right? So, Therefore, the alphanumeric sort was important to that way it drove the pick path. What pick sequencing is going to allow you to do is not force the alphanumeric sort. You no longer have to have the alphanumeric sort. You can, you can pick in the order of the bins that you want your user to pick in and you dictate that through a bin sequence that's on the bin record. Danny, it sounds like bin sequencing would be really beneficial for people who are setting up a new facility or a warehouse for the first time. But there's a lot of people who already have operations in place in their facility. Why would we recommend bin sequencing to them? Sure, sure. Uh, yeah, Sarah, you know, warehousing, uh, especially with uh, high growth customers, right? Changes to your warehouse are, are uh, it's something that happens every day, every week uh, with our customers. And so as their, their business is growing and their warehouse is growing, what bin sequencing is going to allow you to do is to expand your warehouse or make changes to a particular bay of rack or a particular section of your racking without having to relabel your entire building or without having to uh, 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 redo the entire pick sequence in the system. Uh, you'll have the ability to uh, insert um, decimals and things like that to insert bins in the order. So. Uh, again, allowing flexibility for growth is what bin sequencing allows. Well, Danny, so if I wanted to set up bin sequencing, how would I do that using RF Smart? It, uh, well, my recommendation would be uh, to imagine you had a sales order with every single item that you sell in your building. So imagine if you had a sales order where a user was going to have to go to every single location in your warehouse to pick an item. What I would recommend you do is ask yourself, What's the most efficient manner that I would want that user to travel through my building? 
Um, and that would be the sequence that I would establish for, for my building. Because the one thing you want to do is you want to put a sequence number on every bin. So every bin has to have a bin sequence. And so imagine if you had a pick of every item and that's the travel path that you would want to establish for your build. It really boils down, Sarah, to travel time, right? Uh, you know, the name of the game for our customers is they want to get as much out the door as possible and, and with, with the most efficient way possible, right, for their users. Um, so when you start looking at travel, travel is one of the most expensive costs of outbound operations. Uh, the, the amount of time that an employee spends walking through their warehouse or traveling through their warehouse. So if you can imagine a grocery store, right? And you're, you're traveling down the grocery store aisle. Um, most people pick from both sides, right? As they're traveling and they'll make one pass down that aisle, picking from both sides. And then when they get to the end of the aisle, they turn and come up the other side, right? Some of our customers' warehouses, um, they, their rack runs may be, you know, 60 yards long, right? Well, that's more than half of a football field, right? So if you could imagine if you are walking those picks, right, and you just walk 60 yards down an aisle and your next pick is at the front of the aisle, you know, over here, right, you're, you're probably going to turn and come up that aisle and pick, you want them to pick backwards up that aisle that's next to it and from both sides as they come up. Um, pick sequencing is going to drive that. If you were doing an alphanumeric sort, you would have to have your labels, you know, labeled that way for it, for the, for, to make the turn. So that's the importance of, of why picking from both sides, why serpentine? Uh, it really just boils down to travel time and minimizing the amount of, of time it takes your, your users to um, perform your outbound operations. Jenny, before we wrap up today, could you just give some best practices around using bin sequencing for those who are tuning in today? Um, some best practices, first and foremost, um, uh, let's start with how your building is labeled, right? Um, best practices from a labeling standpoint is what we call a uniform labeling system where uh, all of your um, bay numbers are, are, are the same across the warehouse. So all your lower numbers in the front of your warehouse, all your higher numbers in the back of your warehouse. This makes it very intuitive for the user. Um, lots of labor studies have been done to show that people are intuitively going to turn if there's a uniform labeling system, they're going to know exactly which way to, to, to direct themselves. Um, so we that is a best practice. So for bin sequencing, we would recommend a uniform labeling system and then utilize your bin sequencing to direct the serpentine path because uh, with a uniform system, uh, it works hand in hand with the pick sequencing to drive the path. So Danny, the big question is always why? Can you give one reason as to why customers should consider using bin sequencing in their facility? The one main reason uh, I would definitely use bin sequencing is if I already have infrastructure built. Um, if, if you are new to RF Smart and your warehouse is already labeled, <laughs> uh, we definitely want to talk to your consultant about getting you set up on bin sequencing. That's going to save you a lot of time and expense and, and, and reorganizing your building. If you are new to bins and new to using bin locations and things like that, I would say that bin sequencing is important because um, you are probably going to grow and you're probably going to make changes to that initial design that you have. And you're going to want flexibility to be able to grow without having to allow the rework of having to redo your infrastructure. So, my, so Sarah, I'm sorry to give you two answers, but it would be those two answers would be the primary reason for using bin sequence. All right, so finally, as we wrap up today, if you have questions about getting this set up or why to use it, who should you contact? Reach out to your uh, RF Smart Warehouse uh, consultant uh, or our customer success team, and uh, uh, we'll be happy to guide you through the process of implementing pick sequencing. All right. Well, Danny, thank you so much for speaking with us today. For those of you listening, I'm going to leave that contact information as well as some other resources about bin sequencing and efficient picking down below so that you've got those. Thanks again for tuning in. Thanks again to Danny, and we will see you again real soon. Bye.